Hey everybody, I want to wheeze them. It is 1.38 a.m. 10.31.2014. It is Halloween morning, uh, very early in the day, obviously. Everything exciting will go on later tonight uh, into Saturday morning. That said, the 30th was a big day for me. I finally got the package the post office had rejected and sent back. Uh, and that, of course, contained two of the most powerful Skylanders ever, Elite Chop Chop and Elite Spiral. Now, I've come in, I've done the unboxing on Elite Chop Chop. It was a lot longer than I intended it for for it to be, but I had to cover the post office, what's wrong with my computer, uh, which is a very big issue at this point in time, and uh, then of course like some general theories on why we have the elites and the price point they are and things like that, but so, uh, the good news is I've done that one time, don't have to do it for the remaining seven, and what I'm going to do now is actually introduce Elite Chop Chop. Now before we do that, uh, I still have Ice Small on the portal here, but um... Elite Chop Chop. I took him and I put him in game in Skylander Swap Force. He registers as Chop Chop and then down on the uh, lower right hand side of his name he has Special. In the game uh, he appears totally box stock. I've got his base stats from Swap Force so we can compare them here. I've got his damage numbers in Swap Force from the base Really, I guess with him, it's just the primary attack uh, that we can compare here to the Elite Entrap team. And then similarly, I went ahead and I did the money trick there because it's super fast, and that makes me happy. So, uh, that said, we're going to put him on the portal for the first time, plus I did that on the Wii U. Uh, so, this is his first time in Trap Team on the X-Bone. Uh, we're pulling Eye Small. That was the orange-based Eye Small, by the way. And uh, get ready for greatness. This is Elite Chop Chop going on to the portal. Slice and dice. Okay, very cool. Seven undead. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> if you don't know uh, what I'm wowing about, it is actually his health. Oh, uh, wow, 900? Seriously. Okay, I don't even know if uh, level like 15 Chop Chop gets to that point, but uh, I left him right here with Chaos just because that was the cool thing to do. Um, the sword doesn't seem to glow. It kind of has some reflection, but I mean, in Swap Force, the thing literally glows. He looks pretty much... Uh, standard in game doesn't say anything about being elite in the corner. Granted, that 900 health at box stock level one might be a tip off to some of you. Uh, let's go ahead while he's here by chaos, since it is Halloween now. Uh, we'll just stay here and have kind of the Halloween spirit thing. Chop Chop was once an elite warrior belonging to the ancient race of Archean beings. Like many of the Archeans, he was created from a hybrid of elements, in his case, undead magic and technology. Chop Chop is a relentless, highly skilled soldier who wields a sword and shield made of an indestructible metal. With the Archeans having vanished long ago, Chop Chop wandered Skylands for centuries looking for his creators. Eventually, he was found by Eon and recruited as a Skylander. Very cool background story there. You've gotten to see his idle animation. Pretty quick character. Uh, that's what he looks like when he jumps. Nothing too crazy. Um, there's a look at the primary attack. He's kind of got like a fencing combo there. Uh, that is totally box stock, by the way. You can kind of see like the rapid... Can you just... You can hold that for a long time. I didn't realize you could hold it that long. <laughs> Um, other thing I want to showcase, obviously we've got the shield. The shield actually looks bigger here. It didn't last any longer, though. Uh, I want to take a look at his jump slam attack. Doesn't have one with the shield, although he can activate it midair. Now let's see what he does with the sword. Okay, so he just kind of can jump and attack. We're going to shuffle off over here to Persephone. And this should be fun. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, Does my power please? We'll go ahead and cover his powers. I feel like this is a bit redundant since I'm going to turn right around and like fully upgrade the guy. But at the same time, I've got a system I want to stick to it. And we're going to come in here. I'm saving the stats because that's honestly what I'm the most excited about. Archean Blade. Slash away at your enemies with this ancient blade. And again, you can uh, 
XX Hold X on the X bone here for that fencing combo. Not a lot of people are aware of it. Our key and shield hold B to protect yourself from most attacks, also deflects projectiles. Four base upgrade spike shield press while holding B, press X to shield bash an enemy. Then you've got Vampiric Aura, this is one of my favorites. Sword does extra damage and you regain health by defeating enemies. Hence why it's one of my favorites. Uh, I got some CPU notices here. I'm really paranoid about this stuff now. Uh, Shield Spartan, move faster and block more damage while holding B. And then Bone Brambler is the tertiary. Press Y to attack enemies with Bone Brambles. If you come in up top, uh, Vampiric Warrior, you've got Archean Combat Master. XXB for the Archean Cyclone. XXY for the Archean Leap. That's a really cool attack. Up next is the Archean Vorpal Blade. I've waited. I thought there was a slim chance he might have been a light core at some point because of this and the Demon Blade of the Underworld. Uh, maybe if they ever advance to like fiber optics or something. Uh, that would be a wicked little figure. Alright, that's actually a really good idea. I love LEDs, but uh, the fiber optics, you could kind of make a wicked demon blade of the underworld. Uh, I should probably submit that idea, <laughs> actually. Uh, as an elite, you know he is well liked by Toys for Bob. Anyway, Arcane Vorpal Blade sword attacks do even more increased damage than what I was raving about right there. A Demon Blade of the Underworld. Picture that in like the fiber optic orange, red, blue, purple. It would be awesome. Swords have longer range and do max damage. If you go Undead Defender, Arcane Spectral Shield, hold B to absorb incoming damage. While holding, press X to release absorb damage. Shield Stun Bash, Shield Bash Attack stuns enemies, and then Demon Shield of the Shadows, check out the face there, the kind of like Archean skull. Shield Bash it does extra damage, absorb damage is automatically released. Now, my first inclination was, hey, you should probably take Undead Defender with the Elite Chop Shop. If they've really tripled the damage there, that would just be absurd. You would essentially block everything and like insta-kill virtually everything. Uh, probably even on hard, uh, or with little to no effort applied. Uh, but then on the flip side, you think three times as much damage, and that kind of ties in with his offensive path. I'm probably going to go that route, but it would be interesting to see what this does. Soul Gem, of course, that's all the Elites have. These are literally, just think of them as like a polished version of their SSA. Uh, figures, Soul Gem only, no Wow Pow, no switching of the paths or anything, at least here in Trap Team. I'll have to research that in past games. It didn't look like you could switch in Swap Force, but I haven't actually bought anything. Uh, Cursed Bone Brambler. Bone Brambles do extra damage. That's the Soul Gem. We're going to back out of here, and this is the money. This is why you get an Elite, uh, at least in terms of in-game reasons, or at least part of it. I'm going to click over here to my spreadsheet and get ready for the epicness that will ensue. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, his max health is 900. Box stock, level 1, mind you. Armor, 72. That is higher. Speed, 70. That is higher. Critical hit, 30. Elemental power, 60. Uh, just to give you an idea, this same figure, box stock in Swap Force, 360 on the health, 36 on the armor. The health is almost tripled. Uh, the armor is exactly doubled. Speed is plus 20, 50 to 70. Uh, critical hit went from 7 to 30, uh, which is basically 4x. And then uh, Elemental Power, uh, it was skewed in mine, it was a 107, but uh, 60 is where he is at. So, that's some crazy stuff. Now, My strength is ever I can't really show you damage with the shield, uh, because, you know, they're not doing anything to us. Just to give you an idea, I gotta switch spreadsheets here. Box stock, his shield attack, in Swap Force, with the Archean Blade, 38 to 57. If the rumors are true, if the advertisements are too believed, if the hype is real, this should be three times that. Now, do the math in our heads. 30x3 is 90, 8x3 is 24, uh, 90 and 24 is 114. So we, in theory, and granted, I don't know if that's based on SSA damage numbers or not, but at least from Swap Force, you should be looking at 114 as triple. Let's see what we get. Whoa, 120. 
and that's not critical. That's standard. Uh, that means critical should be 180. Let's hit until we get it. Once again, he's got pretty high critical hit, and we've yet to get one. There was our 180. 120 to 180, that is definitely uh, three times or more powerful. And that is from his primary attack. We haven't done Demon Blade of the Underworld. We haven't done uh, the Vorpal Blade. We haven't done the combos. Uh, we haven't even gotten Vampiric Aura. This is going to live up to the hype. It is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, that said, this is the introduction. Uh, it is Elite Chop Chop. He is here in Trap Team. I can confirm, at least based on Swap Force, that the gains are only in Trap Team. That being said, what I mean by that is if you were to take this guy back into Giants, maybe you're going to go through on Nightmare Mode or something, he's not going to do 120 damage box stock. He's going to be doing, you know, 38 or whatever. Um, so that's a little bit of a buzzkill. He also isn't going to have 900 health. He's going to have, you know, like 360, whatever it may be. But uh, at least here in Trap Team, whatever you want these characters to do, they're going to do it, and they're going to do it well and with authority. Uh, up next for me, I guess, is Intro 29 when we introduce Spyro. And past that, it's buying the upgrades for these guys and getting the absolutely ridiculous damage numbers, which I personally cannot wait to see. Uh, it is going to be a great night. I may not go to bed tonight. Uh, that's how excited I am. So, uh, for myself, in Elite Chop Chop, Portal Master Eon for selecting these guys, amping up their statistics. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you are excited. Hopefully this shows you the benefits of an elite character, in this case, Chop Chop. Uh, why did I do him before Spyro? It's Halloween. I'm not going to do Spyro before Chop Chop on Halloween. Any other day of the year, yes. But Halloween, Chop Chop will reign supreme, uh, at least in my little world here. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you check back for the attack damage video. What I do is different from everyone else. I come in, I buy each upgrade right here all in one swing, and we get the attack damage. I then document it in a spreadsheet, which I have on my site in Skylander Club. That'll happen eventually right now. The computer is an issue. I'm trying my best to resolve that, and it's not going well. Uh, the good news is I can kill the internet and operate virus-free, so that's how I'm able to do this part of it. But uh, I'm going to come back in with that upgrade. You're going to see all the attack damage numbers, uh, at least now in the uh, Vampiric Warrior path. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. If you're on Twitch, make sure to follow me there. My personal site, oneofweezum.com, remains a great source for all things Skylands. Similarly, uh, if you are a hardcore portal master, someone that takes the game, the details, uh, the collecting side a little bit more seriously than most, I invite you to check out my side project, skylanderclub.com backslash forum. Uh, that is the place to be. We've got a lot of great people on board. If you like what you see, uh, sign up. We would absolutely love to have you. That said, I can't wait anymore. I'm going to end this. Um... I guess I'll introduce Spyro first. I don't know. I may upgrade Chop Chop. I think I am. I can't really wait to do it. So I'm going to come right back. We're going to upgrade this guy. Uh, be sure to check out that playlist for all my uh, other upgrades, which include quite a few of the Undead Element Skyliners since I did some Halloween themed stuff for you. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching. Elite Chop Chop and I will catch you back here with Persephone as the epicness continues.